Hi, this is Grant, and I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to use the Beat the Market Analyzer stock spreadsheet. First thing you'll see at the bottom are some different sheets, Disclaimer, Quick Start, Single Analyzer, Multi Analyzer, Save Data, My Investment Plan, Help, S&P 500, and these ones to the right are just ticker sheets. So Disclaimer is just what it says, and then Quick Start. This helps you get started using the program. You have requirements here. Uh, this tells you to get started that you have to open the BTMA installer file and run that first. A uh, shortcut should be located on your desktop. If it's not, then you just have to find that on your computer and run that first. This one, number three, is the um, link to this actual tutorial that you're watching right now. So if you ever want to go back and watch this tutorial again, just click on this button. Next one, number four, is just help and troubleshooting. So click here at any time to get help and troubleshooting details. Next sheet is single analyzer. This sheet is used to analyze individual stocks. It'll analyze up to 13 individual stocks. Um, this other one is multi analyzer. This one it can analyze up to 10,000 stocks. Um, you just paste tickers in here and then you just click the analyze multi data. Um, after you analyze in the single analyzer or multi analyzer, you're going to want to put your data into the save data sheet. So we'll just do that now with the single analyzer. Let's enter a stock symbol. So we're just going to enter KO for Coca Cola. Then we hit the calculate on button. You can see down here it starts processing. So you can see it says calculating. And uh, it'll start populating across here in our row. Okay, it is finished and Coca Cola is populated. You can see here that the start date is today's date and then one year later is the end date. Coca Cola date analyzed. Um, going over, we have our other information industry, market price is 38.69, and then the analyzer's re recommended price is actually 25.74. So we can see that the recommended price is actually lower than the current price. So Coca-Cola would be over, overvalued right now. Um, it's not a bargain buy. You shouldn't have bought it right now. And the reason is that it's a good company rating, but the price is too high. Uh, going further over, we can see that the comp company rating is 77.125. And this is out of 100 points. If you ever need help, you can see these little red triangles. If you put your cursor over them, it'll give you more information about that. Um, going further to the right, we can see uh, this saved data. We'll talk about this later. Um, there are different points here. To the right, we have company rating, stock value, and pricing, three different sections. The first section is company rating. So company rating, this is where we got that 77.125 rating. Um, they have different categories here and they're out of a total of 17 points, uh, 16 points, 15 points. So 10 year upward price per share is out of 17 points and you can see that Coca-Cola scored 11 out of 17 for 10 year upward price per share. For EPS it scored 11.13 out of 16. So this is very useful because it gives you an easy number to compare and you can compare it to other stocks that you analyze in rows below. Uh, also it takes into consideration the ability to recover from a market crash, return on equity, return on Vista Capital, uh, gross profit margin, PG ratio. And these are some of the main factors that Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett and some other uh, value investors use to analyze stocks. So going further to the right, we have a 52-week low, 52-week high, the EPS, and uh, the BTMA stock spreadsheet gives you 10 years of historical data. Uh, you can go through and see how the stock did over the last 10 years with earnings per share. Then it gives you a five-year average, and then a EPS growth rate for a five-year average. Uh, next column is intrinsic value. This is based off of Benjamin Graham's intrinsic value formula and it's been updated with a more conservative formula. 
and then further to the right is 52 week average midpoint and then the estimated value of the stock this one is the BTMA estimated value of the stock then this column is very useful I use this often it's the percent difference that the 52 week low price is below the start date price so what we're looking for is a smaller number here and this means that coca-cola is now only eight percent from the 52 week low so it's at a pretty cheap price right now uh, is it a good company at a bargain price no we knew it was a good company but it's not at a bargain price margin of safety price this just tells us in essence that we shouldn't pay more than twenty five dollars and seventy four cents for a share of coca-cola at today's current date okay closing price and then any discount from the margin of safety price no we knew that there wasn't a discount because it's not at a bargain price right now okay so let's just analyze one more um, we can put in CVX here that's for Chevron again hit the calculate on button again at the bottom it'll start calculating okay so Chevron has finished calculating we can see that it's highlighted in yellow all the way across that means that it's a possible buy if it was highlighted in green all the way across that would mean that it's a recommended buy so actually Chevron market price is 124.14 and the analyzer recommends that that's a good price to buy it at today so it is a good company at a bargain price uh, going over the company rating is 82.75 out of 100 so it scored better than coca-cola now and you can just go across and compare them as I said it's very useful because they're all compared in the same way and uh, they're all analyzed in the same way excuse me and you can compare them side by side okay so going over to save data here what you're gonna want to do after you analyze any of the stocks you're gonna want to click the save row data to save an individual row and it'll put it into the save data sheet or you can just click here to save all the rows that's what I'll do okay so it is finished and it put coca-cola and chevron in our save data sheet and um, right now what I want to do is I want to analyze some more stocks but I want to analyze more than one at a time so I'll go to the multi analyzer sheet and I can just put in up to 10,000 stocks in here and with a click of a button I can analyze them so you can use the ticker sheets over here to pull tickers and I'm just gonna pull a few tickers right now so I'll just select those and copy them and then go to multi analyzer and paste them and then I just click the analyze multi data button and it'll tell us an estimate of how long it'll take to analyze them depending on your computer speed will will tell you how long it'll take and um, it does take a while but that's because it's analyzing um, thousands of calculations and it's analyzing up to 10 years of data so if you analyze the whole S&P 500 you could just go get a cup of coffee or take a nap or whatever when you come back it should be finished okay it is finished it says your multi data has successfully been added and then we can go through and it'll help us do an investment uh, plan so it'll help us pick which stocks we should invest in and you can do this if you like um, so you would just go through here and it will ask you some questions so do you know Chevron do you know Caterpillar and then it asks different questions I'm just gonna quickly answer these and so it picks which stocks are right for me uh, Chevron and Caterpillar it recommended now let's say that I thought Chevron was good and I wanted to go ahead and buy it but I wasn't sure how many stocks I wanted to buy you can use this handy calculator over here to figure out how many shares you should buy so money available to invest let's say I have two thousand dollars and the market price of Chevron is 124.14 on the current date how much is your brokerage fee let's say my fee is seven dollars because I use Scott trade okay and down here it'll tell us if I bought a minimum of one share I would need to make at least eleven point two eight percent return just to cover my brokerage fee cost so you can see here just to buy one share it's not even really worth it so if I bought 16 shares then I'd have to only make 0.7 percent return 
to cover my brokerage fees. So this gives you a good idea how many shares you can buy and I use this often. It's very useful. Uh, you can also make a copy of your investment plan. Um, you can't save directly in the BTMA spreadsheet so what you do is just export it into another Excel file and then you can save that or rename it any way you like. Uh, you can also clear individual rows um, or you can clear a row, row range from like 4 to 8 clear whatever data you want. If you ever want to manually create an investment plan again, you just click on this button here. Okay, going back to the save data sheet, um, we would have all of our data in here and it's sorted so that the best buys are at the top and then the worst or most riskiest stocks are at the bottom. It's very, very ideal for you because like I said you can analyze the whole S&P 500 or 2000 stocks and you'll have a handful of the best recommended stocks at the top so you only have to further analyze those stocks or choose from those stocks okay so some options on this sheet that we can look at are clear individual rows we can clear one row or we can clear a whole row range and then what we're going to want to do is after we analyze in the single analyzer or multi analyzer we're going to want to save put it in the save data sheet and then export it because like I said we can't save directly in the BTMA spreadsheet but we can export it here and then you can see here it makes a clean new Excel sheet for us which we can save it we can sort it we can edit this sheet uh, you can share it with a friend email to a friend or whatever so that's very useful to have this option okay so I'm just gonna close that and not save it and that pretty much covers um, how to use the BTMA stock spreadsheet like I said if you have any questions you can just go to the help click the help and troubleshooting you can watch this tutorial at any time uh, or you can email me grant at beatthemarketanalyzer.com I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the BTMA spreadsheet and good luck in investing. Have a nice day.